Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to greet all those who are tuning in today. We thank you for watching. We thank you for tuning in. Brother Kevin, uh, Pastor Jay, and all the other brothers and sisters that will be coming in this evening. Uh, what I want to do tonight, because I'm aware, uh, I was just asking this. I'm like, you know, I don't know if I want to say that yet, but I'm like, let me just ponder this for a moment. I wonder, could we, you know, I know some of us fast. We we fast. I ain't got no water up here. Bro Charles, no, no. Bro Charles, get from me. Uh, I know some of us, we fast, you know, that we have no problem fasting. But I would just wonder, I would just help me out on Facebook and those in the house. I would just wonder, uh, could we take a 30-day fast from YouTube? Uh, uh, yeah, I would say it again. Could we take a 30-day 30, 30 fast from YouTube and just stick to your Bible, the Word? Yes. Uh, I'm saying, I know, I, listen. I see, I wasn't quick to say it at the house when the thought pundit in my mind. And so because why? Because I know that that one day that this internet thing is going to be shut down. And it is my job as a shepherd to make sure, do you know how to study outside of YouTube? All right. Do you know how to get inside the book yourself? And study be, be, because I'm telling you, it's going to happen. So as you see, all this here, this ain't junk. I, I just want to introduce y'all to how I study. I want to have because I want to be able that that, that I don't want to just uh, uh, cook the fish for you and, and catch the fish for you. I want to show you how to catch it. And so, so I, I just want to just you might even just want to go on that fast yourself and say, you know what, I'm gonna stay away from YouTube. For 30 days, and I would just hit the book. I ain't gonna get no outside voice, no outside commentary, but I'm just gonna get it in the book. See, because YouTube can become like crack. Okay. Huh? Okay. You need your fix. Okay. Think about that. We ask, how could our fathers hear from the Most High? It's because. You had to determine where their location was in the desert. When you're away from the city, when you're away from the noise and the chaos, you can hear it. Yes. See, our senses have been dull of hearing because there's too much noise going on up here. Yes. Yes. Watch this here. We have six days until we meet on the Shabbat, right? Mm -hmm. Ask yourself. Are, are you really, are we, because we're buying, right? Are we really preparing our heart? I'm talking about preparing our heart, knowing that everything I go through in the world is nothing I got to go through because that's the world. But I'm really preparing my heart. I'm preparing my mind for the Shabbat. You see, it's, 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 it's like a bridegroom. Even though she's going through all the things, but she's preparing her heart for that day. Yes. So I'm saying... That the Shabbat is the holiest day of the week. But I'm saying, how's my preparation leading up to it? Because if I did not prepare my heart for it, then I could teach sound doctrine to you. You ain't gonna hear nothing I say. Why? Because you didn't prepare your heart. You allowed that situation, those situation, and you brought them with you. Right. You see? So that's a preparation even in the word. I love to use this here that, 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 uh, we don't always get it right, guys. I know we don't. You know what I'm saying? We wait till almost at the last moment, then tap tap them on the shoulder and expect her to be all in the mood. But if we become cautious and conscious, like, you know what? I I, I want to make love and romance to my wife, so I'm going to prepare the scene. I ain't going to wait till the lights turn off. I'm going to prepare all day. You see? But we don't think like that. We don't think like that. If the spirit of Yah... It's, it's the Ruach Kadesh, and, and he wants to be intimate with us, but if, if we treat him like at the last moment when a tap on his shoulder and wonder why I don't have an intimate relationship with him. Huh? If, if, if we are, what's the other thing? If we are the bride, that's the feminine, and the word is in the masculine, 
Huh? So if I don't spend time with the word, how can I produce anything? And so this is very important. So I'm thinking, okay, what about a YouTube? If YouTube gets shut down right now, would that destroy your Bible study time? Will you know how to get in the book for yourself? And so those are the things that I was putting in here. So uh, I, I believe I can put the microphone down and they, they can hear. So now, when I'm studying, okay, uh, when you study, and, and, and I want y'all to think about this, guys, okay, because I be having ridiculous conversations or people be I'm like, you have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> because when you and I pick up this book called The Word of Yah, you just went back 3,000 years. And you... You talking foolishness because you just, okay, okay, if, if, if you don't believe me, go try to live in China without knowing the language and the culture. Mm. Huh? Go try to live in Israel right now without knowing the language and the culture. Then what I'm saying, when you pick this book up, you got to understand the language and the culture. That's right. So if you never did any of those kind of things, how do you know what I'm talking about? So I'm doing all the work. You ain't did none. And you gonna tell me what I'm saying ain't right? That's that. That's pure ignorance. Yes, sir. That's pure ignorance. So when you begin to study, okay, let me just give you some little simple things here. When you begin, I'm gonna give you the starter kit first. Okay, this is called the starter kit. Uh, it really is. It's a starter kit. If you ain't got one of these in your house, okay, then and you just listen. Let me solve this right away. Well, people say, well, all I need just the Bible. Well, if you knew the language, if you was fluent in the language and the culture, that's all you need. That's all Paul need. That's all uh, Moses need and all the patriarchs need. Why? Because it was their book. Yeah. But we've been stripped from our culture. Sure. Okay? Though it's, it's our culture, but I got to become familiar with the culture and the language. So when you pick up this text, automatic. How many things I say you automatically have against you? Huh? Three things. Name them for me. Culture. Uh huh. Language and environment. Environment. Culture. It, it, it's automatic. If you ain't know that, if you ain't know that, all you doing. This is the first thing we do. I'm trying to help us how to study. This is how we do. If if I pick up my, my Bible, I'm gonna go to the bookstore and I'm gonna find the Bible. Most of the time, it's gonna go with the page how it's gonna pretty. Oh, that's so pretty. Okay? And so we choose the Bible based on what is it? I can understand it because it is what if you can understand the Bible, then I know that Bible ain't no good because the Bible is not an English book. Okay, so you're going to find the best translation that that sound like our English. Okay, correct. Right. I don't even like to call it the Bible because that comes from the Greek uh, the Greek, uh, part of the Greek culture over there. It was an island called I think it was called ba Balos. By Los is when we get the word. You know, I was gonna call the teacher, but I know my wife ain't gonna. She ain't gonna let me. Uh, the name this teacher is that. <laughs> I was, I was, I was gonna call it the. Uh, 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 I was, I was gonna name it transgender. Mm. I, I, I was gonna name this teaching transgender. Okay, now look at the word transgender. Watch this. I'm gonna show you why. Okay, look at the word transgender. I already know what it means, but I, I want us to agree. I want us to have the same definition. Okay, and we're gonna move on. Transgender. Transgender. Okay. What it says, brother Charles? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. Transgender. Hang with me. Hang with me. Transgender. Hallelujah. Transgender. I got it on my phone. Here's the definition. Okay. Denoting or relating to a person whose sense of personal identity and gender does not correspond with their birth. I need you to read that for me because I'm gonna break that down. Read that for me, uh, uh, brother Charles or sister Skinner. Y'all listen to this here. Definition of transgender, okay? And, and I ain't even dealing with them. I'm going to show you how the word of Yah been transgender. Transgender. People have a gender identity or gender expression that differs from their assigned sex. Some transgender people who desire medical assistance to transition from one sex to another identified as transsexual okay so now a simple form would be that is that a transgender is someone that does not want to what's it that does not want to identify with their sexual 
uh, at birth. Now, the key word is at birth. Right. Though I was born a male, but I don't want to identify as a male. So, so, so I'm a transgender. I'm gonna do a metamorph. I'm gonna transform myself. Okay, so as I'm pondering this, I say, okay, 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 that's good. I like, but well, my wife ain't gonna let me. She probably gonna let me uh, use that title. She probably gonna use that title. But how can I say that the word of Yah is like, like a transgender? What about this here? Now remember, it's at birth. It's at birth. The key word is, is at birth. So at birth, at birth, when the nation was birth in Mount Sinai, we kept the Sabbath. We kept the feasts, yeah. huh? We kept the dietary, mm -hmm. huh? We had a constitution, the yeah. Torah. Yeah. At birth, the people were dark skinned. I yeah. bring the dictionary to all that. Yeah. So, but now you see it now, it's been a transgender of the word of God and his people. Oh, yes. Yeah. I said it. Yeah. I said it. Yeah. And because you never knew at birth what the, yeah. I can right. tell you what it was, and that's what we're dealing with today. Yeah. That's just how I can do it in a nutshell, okay? Now, watch this here. Again, this is the starter kit. Okay? Now, it'd be amazing. This don't cost nothing but $20. Mm -hmm. Huh? The same as crack. $20. You know what I'm saying? I'm just telling, being, being honest. I mean, how could I spend all that money on crack and then I, I can't buy no books? Right. Okay? Okay? Now, you, you call, back in the day, they called me a crackhead, but now I'm a bobblehead. head. Right. Amen. All Praise God. Right. Yeah. Praise God. So you need this book here, guys. If you ain't got this here, okay, this is a starter kit. I call it a starter kit. And it has every word in here from A to Z. And you got to just know if, if you know your alphabet. <laughs> if you know your alphabet, you can look it up, okay? Very important, okay? Now, that's a starter kit. Now, when you start growing, when you start growing, then you get another. Now, this here is dealing with Hebrew. So now you have to learn how to look it up in, in Hebrew. But but the good part is, is that Strong's, if you know the strong number, I can look it up in here. Then as you start learning Hebrew, you can just know because you know your Allah, Bet, Gimel, Hey, right? So I can look it up like the word Torah. I can look it up in here is 8451. But then I can look up the number here in 8451 and I got it, right? So now this is advanced. This is advanced. So I'm going advanced with this here. Uh, it'll have the dictionary. It'll have a, the Allah, Bet here. So you start learning the Allah, Bet. You'll start learning here if the word is used as, as a, a passive or intense, like uh, he he hit him or he punched him. You'll start learning how the word is used. Now that's now that's really getting deep there, okay? So uh you but you lose all this in English. You you lose all this in English. I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. I'm gonna see if I can find the verse first. Uh in the book of Exodus, I'm gonna show you one scene. In the book of Exodus. When the children of Israel left Egypt, right? Mm -hmm. And let's find that verse right quick. And and then the Egyptian gave them goods. Right? Mm -hmm. uh, let me find it. Do, 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 do. Okay, when it says here, uh verse uh chapter uh, let's do chapter 12. Chapter 12 and verse uh 34 and 35, Miss J. Read that, I'm gonna show you what I'm I'm, I'm talking about when you learn how the verb tense and how it's used. Exodus chapter 12, verse 34. Yeah. Okay. And the people took their dough before it was leavened, their kneading throats being bound up in their clothes upon their shoulders. And the children of Israel did according to the word of Moshe. And they borrowed of the Egyptians jewels of silver and jewels of gold and remnant. Okay, so now notice how King James cleaned it up, y'all. It say they borrow, right? Yes. But that ain't the word because the word literally means and they demand. I can show you places where they mm -hmm. give me my stuff. Mm -hmm. See, they borrow, <laughs> huh? They borrow. Sugar coated it. No, 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 but but it did. If you look at the tense, it it means they they give me my stuff. Right. Yeah, yeah. Come on, they borrowed nothing. They came in. So it's the it, it, Hebrew word seventy five ninety two means to acquire or to request or to demand. Okay, a verb one means to ask. One could ask another person or even God for something. Okay, people sometimes sought information, but the word literally means to ask or or to to demand. Okay. 
Uh, and then it also means to plunder. Okay? Ramshack your house. So now, this is another dictionary here, okay? So this is a word study, AMG, a not strong dictionary. This is here when you leave the, uh, remember, this is the starter kit, right? This is the starter kit. Then now, you're growing up and you start to look at words for yourself. This stuff ain't expensive. This here, I was selling these for like, what up, $25, okay? Selling these for $25. Now, watch this here. So now, then when you start really growing up, now this is for uh, mature people, okay? This for this pad, this listen, this kind of stuff for people that's tired of all the shouting. Let's get into business. Let's grow. Let's learn. Okay? Yes, yes, yes. So now another text, guys. If you ain't got it, it's called uh because uh, I, I want to make sure that everybody's able to, to see these books here. Uh this is ancient Hebrew lexicon. Uh this here by Jeff Bennett. Listen, guys, even if you can't purchase it, at least have it on your uh uh uh, uh, uh save because it's very important. That you have your tools, okay? This is ancient Hebrew lexicon by Jeff Benner, B E N N E R. Uh, and we know that ancient Hebrew uh, is not like we see modern Hebrew, and that's not really in Hebrew, that's Aramaic, okay? What we have on the board. Paleo your ancient Hebrew is pictograph. So you will uh, get a lot of information as you begin to break these words down. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay? So I'm just showing you how to. How to build your uh, your uh, 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 your uh, library? How to study? Okay. Let me run across another one. Okay. So now, when you start studying, let's say that you're not familiar with the Old Testament. Well, those people have done work. This is Norman L. G uh, Gess Gess Gessler. Okay. Uh, this is a popular survey of the Old Testament. Okay. And so he he just breaks down each book. And just give you a little introduction, but you need to know these things. So now people have done homework. This is the popular survey of the Old Testament. Get this here. Uh, I think I paid maybe, look, $20. Bam, $20. And let me tell y'all guys something. When people say, well, you even been to Bible college, I said, listen, Bible college, I got the same books that they read. Mm -hmm. Now, as it is here, I can either read the books, Charles, I can either read the books myself, or go pay the professor $16,000, and he, he going to say, now go home and read two chapters. Mm -hmm. That's all they going to say. Mm -hmm. Go home and read two chapters and do me an essay, whatever, thesis, or whatever. That's all. Now, I ain't knocking none of that. Mm -hmm. But I'm saying, don't let that be an excuse for you not studying because you can't afford to go to Bible college. All right. Huh? There's no excuse here. Anybody study with me? I got books right there. I mean, I don't know, last time, I mean, it's so lonely. I mean, ain't nobody a person book here in, in, in my yeah. team. Now, another one here, okay? Hermeneutics, okay? Hermeneutics. You got to have this in your tool, hermeneutics. This is another Bible school book. I, I'm, 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 I'm using this, that's what I'm saying. I I get the same books that they get, but show hermeneutics. And we're going to look at this one in the, in the minute, okay? Hermeneutics. You need this in your library. You need this in your library, okay? Now, let me do this one here. Now, this one here is, is very important. I met the guy. I did a survey, uh, uh, a, a, a seminary with him. It was in, it was two days, two hundred dollars. I can't get people to do this. <laughs> and hey, y'all thought one hundred and fifty was a lot for how many months I gave y'all? Two. two months. And I'm going to take a one class from a scholar. That understand the Greek language. This is a uh, 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 Dave Bibbin, who is, a, and you can pull him up on YouTube. I mean, uh, no, I can't find him up on YouTube, but you can go t to his site and he do archaeology study. And the book is called now. This is the this is the new one, but the old one is called Understanding the Difficult Words of Jesus. Oh, okay. That's yeah. him. Yeah. Okay. So I mean, you gotta invest in yourself. You gotta invest. So I, I I did a class with him. Two days, two hundred dollars. Uh, didn't learn a lot, but you just want to just be it because it don't. You don't need it, but to learn this much. It don't matter. I done played pretty stuff. You know what I'm saying? And it got one nugget. Uh, it don't mean nothing. I, I know where I'm going. Mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying so. When I go to stuff, 
you know, and if you're a Christian pastor and you've been in the ministry for 40 years and you're a good teacher, I, I'm going to go to your conference because I want to ask you a question. How did you stay in the ministry for 40 years? Mm -hmm. I don't care how big his church is. Mm -hmm. I want to know how the man survived for 40 years. Yeah. See, people keep asking the wrong question. Right. You know what I'm saying? You've been married for 40 years. I want to know how you stayed married for 40 years. You see? Very important. So I at best, I would go to Dr. Tony Evans. I would go. One of my favorite Christian pastors, I, I love Chuck Swindoll. Mm -hmm. Chuck Swindoll, that's my boy right there. Because why? He's a teacher. I love teachers. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I love teachers. I, I love, you know, a, a, a teacher that, that draw me out. I like a, a, a Chuck Missile. Christian pastor. Got some solid uh, apologetics for Christian pastor, man. I don't throw the baby out with the bad water. Yeah, oh yeah, back to the Bible. Yeah, so this is a uh, Dave Bimini. The first book he had was Understanding the Difficult Words of Jesus. And so you have to understand. Notice what he said Understanding the Difficult Words of Jesus. So, case in point, one of the things he brings out in the, in the Hebrew mindset culture is Matthew chapter 5, verse 17 and 18. Well, Yahshua said, Think not that I come to destroy the law or the prophet, but I come to fulfill. Well, the word fulfill is an idiom that's used in that culture, like when we say, man, it was raining cats and dogs. So the word fulfill in the Hebrew culture in the first century, meaning that if you misquote a scripture, I will say you are destroying the scripture. But if you if you quote it correct, I say you are fulfilling the scripture. So when Yeshua say, think not that I come to destroy, he said, don't think I come to misinterpret. But I come to fulfill, rightly interpret. Mm -hmm. So when people be talking about that, I'm like, you don't even know what you're talking about. I go get the book and show it to you. You come up with a theory. Yeah. See, this is a whole new culture. A whole new culture. So what I'm trying to teach, and if you come to me with a Western mindset, and I know the book is Eastern, the culture eats everything, we're going to clash every time. That's right. Every time. Every time. But so he's a good source to get. He's a good source to get that. Uh, now, get deep again. This is Vine. Vine, complete expository dictionary. Deals with certain words in, in, in here. You need this kind of tool. You know, all these all these books I got, you know, y'all know I told y'all, all these books I got, many books, right? My desire is... When, when the Most High bless us with a, a school, a, a, a building, the size where we can have a school, get our kids out of them pagan environment, Hallelujah. if we can't do it, for, do it for the next generation, yes. but prepare, okay? Uh, prepare. Every school in America probably started with three students. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hello, hello. You know what I mean? Like, ain't no school in America started with no thousand students. Nope. Huh? Mm -hmm. So you got to start somewhere. And so... Uh, this is a, a good tool here. I know I don't expect people to buy all these books, but I just want y'all to know what your pastor are dealing with. You know what I'm saying? I'm not coming in here, and that's why I ain't got time. If you ain't if you ain't put, uh, 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 man, I can't tell you how many hours. I refuse to let those who have a full-time job outwork me in the Word. It's, 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 it's not right. While y'all out there laboring and sweating, you know what I'm saying? Then I'm at the house, kick back, watching TV. Then I don't start studying until Friday. The devil is a liar. Huh? Just like y'all tired on the job, I, I get tired. You know what I'm saying? Let, let me study until I get tired, then I take a break. That ain't fair, man, for, for the people of God to be laboring out there, supporting a the ministry, and then you come to church, whether you still come on Sunday or the Shabbat, and he just giving you some crumbs. That's right. That's not right. That's, that's not right. Now, these two here, these two, now, uh, I pull these out like, man, I got to start using these here. And, and so I, I ain't going to act like I, I, I use these here. But one of these here, both same by the people, but what it is, that these here has every word, every word with a strong number. So I ain't got to open up my Esau. So this is the Tanakh from Genesis to Malachi. Check it out, Miss J. Every word. And then, then I got... This here with the New Testament, every word underlined. Okay, so I can look up in the back and get the definition oh, of the word. So if if, if, if 
Oh, yeah, every word. So okay. y'all got to get these here. See, okay. word study series. Okay, check it out, Charles. Word study series. So I can look it up. Okay. I can look it up in the back okay. and word. I'm telling you. So I'm praying that the Most High would just that set us up where we can have a place and have where I can teach pastors how to study. I'm saying, I mean, they just don't know. No, no, nah, nah, not oh, like the, not like the one that you right. bought me, right? Yeah. I said, oh, I gotta get that, but I I, I ain't wow. used it yet. You know what I'm saying? I got a lot of tools I just ain't used yet. So wow. the point I was, I was the point I was uh, making Pastor Jay, Pastor Kevin, you know what I'm saying, Mr. Kevin, all the pastors, those that are connected with me, guys. Hey, when the Most High call, you know, call me home, uh, as King David say, the way of all the earth. That y'all got a lot barrier, guys. Y'all don't have to, y'all ain't got to worry about the internet. Y'all ain't got to worry about the internet. You ain't got to worry about none of that. Wow. Uh, let me make sure that uh, 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 I, I can be back here talking and the, the computer done died on me. Because I forgot to plug it up. <laughs> yeah, no, nah, I'm, I'm plugging up. Sorry about that, guys. I'm make sure. But but I'm just trying to say so that we can be equipped. Okay? Oh, we ain't even got started yet. So uh, get that. Okay? Uh, I think that's a that's enough right there because it's uh, if anybody ever want to know, okay, if if, if anybody ever want to know, you can check out. And that's why I, I don't I don't know if people think I'll be playing. Listen, if I leave my books up here and you want to come see or you want to ask me my my resource, come on. Uh, if anybody ever want to know, guys, how I got started, it, it was this with this book here, Our Father Abraham. This was my beginning book, Our Father Abraham. Was the one that uh, introduced me or got me started? That was the one. Our Father Abraham. Let me turn this around right here. Yeah, our Father Abraham. So this is my. Uh, this is by uh, Marvin Wilson. This is my first baby right here. Look at this. Just, <laughs> uh, it, it, it's 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 just a tool. I thank the Most High for blessing me. I really do because uh, in in school I didn't like to read. You know what I'm saying? Because my stuttering, I just, and then I wasn't a, a, a good reader. You know what I'm saying? I mean, ain't nothing changed that much neither, but I mean, but the knowing it, I'm getting, oh, yeah. come on. <laughs> <laughs> ain't that much change, but it's the power, it's the knowing. Because if I tried to do this in the flesh and wasn't born again, I'd be nervous. I'd be, I just, I mean, I'd be nervous now, but you know what I'm talking about? I, I wouldn't even think I can do this. So, so I mean, it is what it is. Now, what I want to do now, let's turn to uh, let's look at some Bible verses around here. Let's go to uh, let's go to Ephesians. Ephesians for a moment. Ephesians chapter 4. Ephesians chapter 4. Guys, so we're dealing with how how I study. Okay? So let's say that I'm doing a word. Now, my favorite thing is to do is to do word study. You gotta do word study. What a word mean in the West or the English does not mean that in the Hebrew. Okay? These are Hebrew. Our people spoke Hebrew. And we cannot be intimidated to uh, because somebody don't want to do their due diligence. Well, it don't matter if you know if you know Hebrew or Greek or whatever. Whatever. Just say that you it don't matter to you. So let's say that we look at it in Ephesians, right? Ephesians chapter 4. I say, right? Yeah. Ephesians chapter 4. Let's look at verses, uh, uh, let's read, uh, start at verse 11, Miss J. Verse 11. Ephesians chapter 4, start at verse 11. And he gave some apostles and some prophets and some evangelists and some pastors and teachers. For the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Yeshua, uh -huh. till we all come in the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of Elohim. Okay, so now let's take a look. I love to do word study, guys. I mean, that's why I was showing you these books. You got to do word study. Okay, you got to look up words because, because what we have in English doesn't do us any justice. I thank God for the translators, but even the translators fall short too. Okay, so the translators is like trying to interpret. I remember that when I was working at CC's Pizza, right? And I was the manager, and then I had one 
young lady that she was bilingual, right? But everybody else was Spanish, right? And so when I needed to get uh, uh, to certain other employees to do something, I had to go get her, and she had to come and I talk and she interpret for me, right? Mm -hmm. And now I now that I look back, I said, whoa. So there was some time in the conversation, she freezed. Then I say, what's wrong? She said, well, I'm trying to find a word in Spanish that, that would make sense to her. Mm -hmm. Now, if that's in English, then how much more in right. the scriptures? Right. So when the translators come, he's trying to find a, a word that's certain, okay, there's certain words that, that you can't translate uh, in English. Like, uh, how would you translate this in English? Man, it was raining so hard, it was raining cats and dogs. You can't translate that because that's an idiom. I'm so hungry I can eat a horse. That's an idiom. There's no translation for that. So watch this. Idioms only idioms are only known in the culture. So if you're outside our culture, I say, man, I'll be back. I'm gonna go to the crib. Somebody that don't know my culture say, man, that dude is a pervert. <laughs> you see that's mine? Yeah. See, because his his mind crib is baby bed. Yeah. You know, and so I'm going to the Ponte Rosa. No, all these things. So, so if 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 every culture has idioms, mm -hmm. so you have to know the Hebrew culture. Our forefather has culture so, uh, idioms like the word seed, zara. Seed mean offspring. No seed, no offspring. Very, very important to understand these things. I'm gonna do a teaching on on on, on the idioms so that you can say, good grief, all over that. I mean, it, it's just it's just incredible. So let's take a look at this word, Miss J. We're gonna look at the word uh, in verse twelve. The word perfection. Okay. So the purpose of these fivefold gifts is to perfect the saints. Okay. Now, the strong number here is twenty six seventy seven. Okay. So now, what we're gonna do? This is what I do so that you can understand what Shaul is saying by the Ruach Kadesh. We didn't have so many classes with just one word because you got to get understanding. And all our getting, we ought to get what, guys? Okay. Understanding. Yeah. Then you got to dig. You got to dig. You can't have all this foolishness that we went around here making, you know what I'm saying, uh, 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 illiterate school, uh, 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 people shouting around. They don't know what they're talking about, man. And, and listen, the Bible, the word of Yah has how. Many interpretation. A whole bunch. No, 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 no. Then what I say? Oh. How many interpretation? One. How many application? No, 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 no. Many. It can have different oh. application. Love your neighbor. Okay. Loving your neighbor is simple. Okay. It, 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 I can love my neighbor different kind of ways. True. True. So, but but the action is seen. So remember, that's only one interpretation, but many interpretation. I mean, uh, application. Keep that in, in, in mind, okay? Uh, another one, uh, honor the Shabbat. Mm -hmm. To you, it might be not leaving your house. To you, might not be turning on any lights, not cooking, whatever it may be. So it can be many applications, okay, to different people. Right. But the honor, watch this, the honor is the same word that say honor your mother and father. So how can I say I honor my mother and father, but never come by and visit them? Yes. So how can I say I honor the Shabbat, but I never come by and, uh -huh. and visit it? You never. I can't tell you. Listen, I can't tell that you honor the Shabbat. I can't tell it. I can't tell it. I hear what you said, that you love your mama and your daddy, but mama say, I ain't seen them in a year. So those that say, I honor the Shabbat when the last time I saw you. Tell it. Tell it. When the last time I saw you. That's right. I must tell you like my master said, these people honor me with their lips, but their heart is wow. fun for me. Watch this. Here. So we're going to look at the word for perfection, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to try to pronounce it. If I can, I'm spell it for you. Is Katimos. For those that are taking notes, I'm going to spell it for you. K-A-T-A-R-T-I-S-M-O-S. -S. Once again, K-A-T-A-R-T-I-S-M-O-S. 
A R T I S M O S. All right, somebody gonna help me on that. Now, so we're gonna look at the words that means that that he gave some apostle, right? He he gave these fivefold gifts: some apostles, some prophets, some evangelists, pastors, and teachers for what? For the perfection of the saints. Why? He says here for the do the work. So, so the fivefold ministry is to equip y'all to do the work. So, John, so uh, Charles, so if it's quilt, if if my job is to equip you to do the work, I gotta have some work to do. And if I know it's the work to do, it's my job to equip you. You see what I'm talking about? Just just like a company hire you, you can't get mad at me if you didn't train me. Right. You see? So it takes it takes time. To, to train someone, and it's always dependent on what the job is. Mm -hmm. If all your job is to flip burgers, it, 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 it's, it's just one ship. <laughs> huh? All you're doing today is just cracking eggs. I mean, it don't take that. So that means that easy training, easy fire. Mm -hmm. That's why they don't find doctors like that. That's why they don't find lawyers like that. <laughs> they don't find kind of people like that. They have to I mean, find them or something. Okay, now let's get the word here. Perfection, okay? Miss J, I'm gonna let you read this here. Everything that's in in the highlighted in the color. So now we're gonna deal with this word. This is how you do word study. Okay, this is how you do word study. We're gonna look at the word perfection. Go ahead. This one. All everything that's in, in, in the thing right there. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna point to you. You're not sure, okay? Canatismos uh -huh. from Qatar Zo. Uh -huh. Word study. Uh huh. Mend, repair, make whole, or perfect. Now let's work this thing. So we come about the word perfection, right? So it means to what? A man, what? Mend, repair, make whole, or perfect. Okay, whose job is that to do then? Verse 11 tell you. Are you that Charles? Verse 11? Ephesians chapter 4, verse 11. So who whose job it is to a man to repair and what else? To make whole. To make whole. Or perfect. Or to perfect. So we know the answer who job it is to that to do that is the five full ministry. Mm -hmm. Listen to that, okay? So he's still finding, okay? Go ahead. Of setting bones, uh -huh. mending nets, and turn from cat tree. Okay. Cat Hold up. Read that again about the setting the bone. Notice that guys. Notice how I say the setting of bones. Of setting bones. That means something is out of place. Mm -hmm. Am I right? Yes. The setting of bones. So the word of Yah and the fivefold minister is to recognize that things is out of place, make a mend, make a repair, huh? Yes. And and set it up bones. And you know when you set somebody bones, they're gonna escape. Listen, it's gonna hurt, but it's gonna be all right. Yes. You see what I'm talking about? That's what the word is it, it's gonna hurt for a season or for a time, but you're gonna be all right. And this is what this is. If if a doctor if a doctor knows that you need a shot, but he don't like he don't like you to have pain, he shouldn't be a doctor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. His job is to say, listen, it's gonna hurt, and you're gonna feel a sting, but it's gonna be okay. Or you're gonna feel pressure, but you're gonna be okay. So my job, I can't be afraid to hurt y'all feelings That's right. with the word. That's right. Mm -hmm. Cause I know I gotta set some things in play. Yeah. And then it, it Charles, it used another word, mending nets. Mm -hmm. Well, the only reason that you need to mend nets because they're being used. Mm -hmm. And when they're being used, right? They're being used, they get, they, holes. get what? Holes. Holes get ripped, right? So, so guess what? When we doing things around here, that's gonna be some uh, at the end of the day, need some amended. Oh. <laughs> Because while we doing things, yeah. people feel it don't get hurt when we just sit around playing church. Yeah. When we doing things, we doing ministry, we cooking, evangelists, we doing service, then people told us get stepped on. But at the end of the day, if y'all can't amend it, then I step in. Mm -hmm. Am I right? Yeah. Right. We'd have had that. And if, if, if we are conscious of that, we know that stuff supposed to happen. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's supposed to happen. It, it don't happen to people that, that ain't doing nothing. That's I'm right. going to play it safe. I'm just gonna sit there and play and say why? Cause I had my feelings hurt years and years ago, and she never got amended. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Woo! Uh, hey, hey! I know 
I'm teaching good tonight. I'm telling you, man, this stuff is real. I, I just, I'm so, man, I'm up the hill with all this junk going on in, in the body of Messiah. I ain't got time for that. That's right. Too much to be doing. I want a mild anointing that I actually, I want to be able to teach. I want to be able to equip the saints yes. to do the work. Mm -hmm. And much work I put in, man, I ain't got time for you talking about, uh, uh, do you believe in speaking in tongues? Go somewhere with that stuff. Mm -hmm. That's elementary. Yes. Do you believe in healing? Man, go somewhere with that stuff. That's elementary. Mm -hmm. For the time come, you ought to be teachers. Yeah. I ain't got time for that. Do you believe in the resurrection? And I'll go on with that, man. That's elementary. That's elementary. What if I don't? Do, do that bother you? <laughs> go ahead, Miss Jay. Now, we still deal with the word perfection. So the fivefold ministry, those that are in ministry, those that are fivefold, listen to what our job is to do. We're going to start over again because I want us to know this is our job to do as fivefold ministry. Go ahead. Mending nets and turn from kata with artizo. Uh -huh. Adjust, uh -huh. fit, finish. Related to go ahead means to make something or someone in this case the sheep in the flock completely adequate or sufficient for something. Uh -huh. The basic idea is that of putting a thing into the condition in which it ought to be. Do you hear what this? You see what that word means? Y'all see how we're doing word study here? Turn to is she gonna come back? You stay there. Y'all turn to 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 15. We're going to read verse 15 and 16. Now notice, this is the job of not y'all. This is not, this ain't the job of nobody else but the five folk. Okay. So I'm telling you, why? He gave some apostles, some prophets, huh? some evangelists, some pastors and teachers. This is our job. I see things and I have to have the courage to set it, in, set it up, right? 2 Timothy chapter 3, verses 15 and 16. Now, remember, all this, what is the tool if, if I'm a surgeon, what tool I'm using to do all this with? Usually you start with a scalpel. No, 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 I'm saying me. Okay. What tool, what tool I'm using to do all this work? The it's word of God. The word. The word. That's my instrument. Oh, okay. That's my instrument. Huh? Mm -hmm. If you're I a surgeon, you use right. the word. So, 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 so okay. I'm, I got six or six tools right here. Mm -hmm. What's that instrument? I got to learn how to use them. Okay? And the Holy Spirit is 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 my God. He's guiding me. He's the one in charge. He's the one that overseeing all this here. You know how when you're in training and then, then the person who, who who's a senior sitting there watching you mm -hmm. and correcting you, gentle, as you said, that the Holy Spirit leads us and guides us. So he's the one that while I'm in the circuit, you know what I'm saying? In the spiritual laboratory, I call it, that he's leading me. He's guiding me. Amen. Hallelujah. What the verse is? 15. Uh-huh. You count him not as... No, no, no. 2 Timothy. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. 15, Chapter 3. Chapter 3. 15 16. Okay. 15. Okay, go ahead. Yet count him not as an, as an enemy, but abolish him as... That don't sound right. Is it? Let me see. May I get you the wrong one? Let me see. You mean, you know how to chop the truth down? Yeah. Let me see. Okay. Okay, let me see something. Okay, okay. Uh, da, da, da. Let's see. That's all right. Hold on, hold on. We're correct. <laughs> yeah, because I'm like, second Timothy, right? Mm -hmm. Chapter 3, verse, 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 verse 15. Be, 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 because it should say, thou, o, thou has known the holy scripture of thy youth, which is able to make thee wise and to salvation. For all scripture is given by inspiration. So, so uh, I know the verse of like that don't add up. Second Timothy, chapter 3, verses 15 and 16, because we know chapter 3, verse 16, all scripture is given by inspiration. But anyhow, go ahead. When you get down, it, it should say, verse 14 should say, Thou hast known the Holy Scripture from thy youth. Paul is talking to Timothy. Okay? Second Timothy. Go ahead, Miss J. So now, let's read Second some more. Okay, you're gonna be, you're gonna be reading. Yeah, 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 yeah. Second Timothy 3, 14 or 15. Start at 15. 
And that from a child uh -huh. thou hast known the holy scriptures, uh -huh. which are able to make thee wise unto uh -huh. salvation uh -huh. through faith which is in Yeshua HaMashiach. Go ahead. All scripture is given by inspiration of Elohim and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. Mm. Go ahead. That the man of Elohim may be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. Notice that. Notice, notice how the man of Yah is to is to uh, uh, train himself. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Notice how the man of Yah, Paul said that that he must engage himself into the Scripture, and you will know if he do. Yeah. See, 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 once you have been trained in here and you have learned some things and you go to another environment, you will know that, ah, it ain't here. Something ain't, ain't right. See what I'm talking about? So here, here's Paul, Shaul, telling Timothy, you got to engage yourself. You got to get in the text. So the scripture on our part, we have a twofold. Our job is to teach y'all to how to do the work of the ministry, but then I have to study to show myself approved unto y'all. A workman, mm -hmm. one who needed not to be ashamed, right and dividing the word, right? Mm -hmm. So that they thing that pastors have to indulge themselves into. And, and and not having money to go to Bible school is not an excuse, sir. Right. Ma'am. That's no excuse for that. As you can see here, I got books here. So that there's no excuse. You buy these same books. There's no excuse for nobody to say, Well, uh, I wish I could go to Bible school. You can get this here every Shabbat. Mondays and Thursdays. Same back channel. So now, let's go to most. So we're dealing with the word katamos. For those that know how to pronounce it, that's fine. But we're just giving you, and the scroll number was, again, was, is it what? 2677. Okay, so you can check it out. So we're talking about, we're talking about the five-fold ministry. And all I'm doing is just showing you how I study. I love to do word study because... Because watch this here. Once a word, once you understand the meaning of the word, it doesn't change. It's not like English. Okay? Go ahead. In politics, it is used for bringing together opposing fractions, yep. factions, so that government can go on. Go ahead. The English word equip means to furnish for service or action by appropriate provisioning. Equip describes the supplying with the items needed for a particular purpose. Mm -hmm. Both of these definitions providing excellent pictures of the effect the gifted men should have on the body of Yeshua. Mm -hmm. So that's our job to equip you. So that's why when I was indulging with uh, Brother Marcel, don't, don't turn this into no newspaper. Man. So so if, 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 if you read that and you Y'all know how sometimes that I can tell y'all to read something and, and people read and then something jump off the page on you? That's that's how the Spirit speaks. He just spoke to you right there. And when I'm studying, so like, okay, if I'm studying and, and I, start, I start to read, right, and then a word would just jump off at me, right? I stop right there and look up that word and just, and it just take me just, oh. so that's why it'd be taking me to uh, and, and 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 I'm just trying to I'm trying to train y'all and y'all did an awesome job this is Shabbat and y'all know me you know what I'm saying to 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 go there and we got over over two hundred some hits on the thing uh, like that's yeah. that's crazy don't they wow. yeah. uh so but because y'all allowed me that's how I study mm -hmm. you know I mean that's how I, I study oh, I like that uh I remember when my wife said oh you uh what she say she she said you be doing re remix, but now I can see yeah I'm remixing what I did at the house. <laughs> <laughs> but y'all see how how much work it takes. Yeah. But watch this: if the word of Yah is our meat, okay, is our food. So the more I eat it, the stronger I'm gonna get. And anybody know that that we all can use a nice diet, huh? Some exercise, all the thing, right? So how much more in the word of God? If I know I need this in the natural, and I know that when I'm not eating right to get the right sleep and exercise and drain me, then how much more spiritual? You see? Very important, man. 
first the natural, then the spiritual. If you you can't jump spiritual and ignore the natural. You you just can't. Some people try to try to do that thing like now nah, I don't really have to study that much. I just wait till the Holy Spirit feel me. Yeah, he's gonna fill you with something, some hot air. I'm fill you with something. That's that's lazy. That's pure lazy. No man of God should be lazy. He he need to get down. Because they take that text from Matthew, now not Matthew, Mark, that said that when the show say, uh, don't take no thought for what you're gonna say, that when the hour come, the Holy Spirit will tell you. That's not that that ain't he's not talking about don't study. And but those who want to justify and not, not study, they use that text. <laughs> that text. <laughs> what else we got? <clears throat> okay, 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 okay. 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 Uh, go ahead, okay. Go ahead. Fitting or preparing them fully, so that thus equipped or fitted out, they might serve the purpose for which they were made. You, you, you got to be equipped. That's our job. You know what I'm saying? That's our job. And I, I, I can walk into an ecclesia and tell you that that man ain't just just by the sure fact the way he come up there and whatever whatever I I, I could just tell. Then you you should be a, I mean I could just tell. And, and, and that's the hardest thing, and it, 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 it is what it is. I, I just came hard. I be wanting to go visit places, my brothers and sisters around here. Uh, I don't do it as much as I used to because I, I just can't stomach it. I, I, I can't sit there. I just say, why do people, why you, I mean, I'm looking at y'all sheep. And then I'm like, it, it just grieves me, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. So. So I want to do that to myself, but I could I could do it maybe once a month, like that, once a quarter. Uh, go ahead. Katarzo uh -huh. conveys the sense here, not of adding something that is lacking, but of putting things in order. Notice that. Notice that we're still talking about. Keep in mind, guys, we're still talking about verse uh, chapter four, verse eleven, the fivefold minister. This is their job. Okay, if I'm a shepherd, then I need to watch over the flock. If I'm a teacher, I need to teach the flock. If I'm an evangelist, I need to stir up the flock. Huh? If if I'm a prophet, I gotta speak. You know what I'm saying? You you, you gotta know. Don't tell me you you're a prophet and you ain't prophesied nothing. You just we can't fall in love with titles. Yeah. I can't say I'm a teacher and I can't write a divide nothing. Mm -hmm. Come on, we ain't going for that. Go ahead. Of adjusting things that are out of adjustment, as for example, in describing fishermen mending their nets. Paul was commanding the Corinthian saints to mend their ways, mm. to strengthen themselves out and restore harmony among themselves. Mm. Spiritual wholeness comes when the churches both collectively and individually is in complete conformity to Elohim's work. Mm. To equip the saints to do so is the responsibility of the church's leaders. See that? <laughs> it don't lie on nobody up. But then we have fivefold ministers. Ephesians chapter 4, 11 through 16. We got Romans chapter 12. And then we got uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 12. This is their job. We ought to equip the saints. It ain't about how many people you got, what you're doing with the one that you got. Are you equipped in them? Are they better? If they can't say, man, I've been here for years, uh, 10 years, I ain't learned nothing. And then people come here, they say, man, I ain't never. Man, I've been in church for 10 years. I have learned more here in one year than I learned in all my years. That's good. That's good. Let us stand. Father, we bless you and we thank you. Thank y'all guys for tuning in. Uh, we're going to shut down right now, but I'm going to do part two. And all I'm doing, guys, is just want to stir up our heart, stir up your heart, that if you two is shut down, if they shut down everything, I want you to build a library. I want you to know how to write and divide the word. If you uh, struggle and you want to know how to use your tools that you have at the house, come on down here. To 2828 Texas Avenue in Texas City, bring your dictionary, bring your books. I will show you how to use them free. 
I said that free, I will show you. As Messiah said, free to receive, free to give. Let's pray. Y'all, we thank you once again for it, it is your word that, that leads us and guides us. It's your Holy Spirit, the one that leads us and guides us. We thank you this evening that you allow me to just open up and be honest with the sheep and my responsibility of every shepherd at the sound of my voice, every shepherd that will come into this place, that they will have a zeal to feed the people. In my departure, yeah, that you will set up, I declare today for a anointed to be, anointed to teach in this house. I declare today that the fivefold minister will operate in this house. I declare today, yeah, that your presence will be in this house, that they will not like a prophet or pastor or teacher or shepherd this house, that a man, a man will lead them. That will under, give them understanding of your word. I declare that, Yah, that you will watch over the sheep. We thank you for your grace and your mercy. Israel, may Jehovah bless thee and keep thee. May Jehovah make his face shine upon thee and be glory to thee. May Jehovah lift up his country upon thee and give thee peace. May Jehovah place his name upon you, O Israel. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Guys, we thank y'all for tuning in. Pastor Jay, Brother Kevin, y'all, my wife, my mother-in-law, all those. I love y'all. I thank you for your support. If you like this video, please, all the videos that we uh, do here on Mondays and Thursdays on the Shabbat is y'all job, House of Study. It's y'all job, brothers and sisters. Share it. That's what that button is. a button that's called share. Share, share, share. Amen? Amen. So until to next time, if y'all say the same, we'll be back here Thursday, right? His mother, right? Yeah. Thursday. Amen. Shalom. Shalom. Shalom.